previously on The Gardening Diaries. So in my last gardening diaries, you saw me read all the beds and finally start planting. And in this video, I am gonna show you where we are so far. And it's all looking lush and green and beautiful. And I'm so excited to share it with you. So we're gonna get straight into, I'm gonna show you what I've planted and everything I've been doing so far. And then I'll show you where the garden's at. And I'm loving it so much. It's become so therapeutic and I'm really enjoying it. One thing I also started doing was keeping a uh, gardening journal. That's where I'm putting all the information, things that I'm learning as I'm going and how I'm feeling about things, things I wanna do differently, kind of as a, a log so that I can look back and see how far I've come over the time. But it's also got all my plans and my drawings in there of things, um, plans I have and the way it's going. And it's, it's probably been the most therapeutic tool out of everything I've done that I've used is just keeping a journal with all my gardening. Side we sway there in all the colors. Here's how we're going. This is the raspberry plant. She's getting her first little spikes. Look at her. We've got our first peppers over here. And what I'm really excited about, look at these tiny blueberries. Look at them. Aren't they cute? This is mostly all wildflowers. We've got some weeds in there too, but it's lovely and lush and green. And here, We have some, some weeds poking through that I need to just take out, but we've got a lot of salad leaves and wildflowers in here. I think we've got a few courgettes around here. I can't fully remember all, I, all that I did. We've got our beetroot, nice and strong, beautiful looking. Again, a load of like salad leaves dotted throughout that I'm really excited to start using. And I've also got a bunch of wildflowers in here, but medicinal wildflowers. So I should hopefully, hopefully, have some uh, calendula coming through in there. In this one, I did a lot of uh, some onions and some garlic. Again, it needs weeding, but I will spend a day doing that. 
but they are growing through nice and strong and I don't know what this is. I should look into that. But these are, these I'm not sure how well they're doing. They've got quite tall, but they don't feel very strong. And now this, this is the bed that I'm most proud of. So these are the potato plants. Look how huge they are. And you can see where the ground has completely like risen up because of all the potatoes are under there and I'm so excited when I get to harvest these. And the kale, which I'm gonna start using. Look how beautiful it is. These are the purple potatoes and I don't think they're gonna make it. They did try, they tried valiantly, but we will see about those. Again, I need to do some weeding. But it's all coming along nicely. I'm so excited for my first official harvest. Isn't it beautiful? I think I'm going to try and use some of this tonight. Once again, thank you all so much for being here. My name is Shannon, I'm the Wisdom Wench, and I, I love taking you along this gardening journey. It's just such a calming and pleasant aspect of my life, and it's really become one of my favourite hobbies, and I'm so glad I get to share it with you. Thank you all so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello,